makes me want to play my guitar. He pulls at my soul and he adds to it. He folds all the corners of my pages down so when he's done, he can always find his way back to it. They've tried to make a word for it, but they never ever did. He's not my love. He's not my friend. He's not the beginning or the end. He's nowhere in between. He's not out in the open and he's not unseen. He is beautiful. He's lovely. He's bright eyed and empty. I would like to live with him in the depths of our two souls. I would like to settle there and be alive with him. The way he makes me feel alive again is if there's something there that I need to hold. No need for sleep. I can do that when I wake. I tell you, he's beautiful and smart and always on the move. When he leaves, he never really leaves. He's the most delicate of astounding that I have ever seen, and I want to see more of him. It's not that I love him, but that my soul wakes up when he looks at me and opens when he touches me and closes when he leaves me and it falls in between us and I lose it completely. My heart is another story I don't think that I could tell, at least not properly, at least not very well. But I fall asleep one way and I wake another. The only thing that stays is our obsession for the other. His words mold me into something beautiful. His voice is a sound that I cannot live without. His face is the beauty of O morning glory as the first bird starts to sing. His hands shake and my whole world falls apart. I think because those are the hands that hold up my heart. His face is the beauty of O morning glory as the first bell would like to ring. I tell you he's beautiful and I won't say that I love him because I don't think that those words hold up. I've searched and searched for the words to express it, but I found not one, I found not one word that is good enough.